Welcome to Iceland, often rugged and always eye-catching. The land of fire and ice, so-called because of its glaciers, which cover 10% of the island, and many volcanoes, some of which are still active. Iceland is a large, sparsely populated island, strategically positioned midway between Greenland and Norway, Barren and mountainous, with large, uninhabited wildernesses, the island's northern extremities lie just inside the Arctic Circle. Weather patterns are unpredictable, with relatively mild summers giving way to cold, bleak winters. Snow and wind are a constant threat, and even though the islanders are well prepared, sudden storms can make for hazardous conditions, particularly when driving. Warm outdoor clothing is essential. Large snowfalls, however, do have their benefits, and you will find many exciting things to see and do. Located on the southwestern tip of the island is the naval air station Keflavik, home base for your upcoming tour. The base, home of the Iceland Defense Force and mainly American-occupied, is like a miniature town and is shared with other NATO members. Keflavik, within a mile of the base, is small but busy. The town and the Icelandic economy relies heavily on its large fishing fleets. A 40-minute drive along the scenic coast road takes you to Reykjavik, Iceland's capital. Having grown from no more than a small village in the last century, Reykjavik is beautifully simple and suffers none of the usual pollution problems normally associated with capital cities. In fact, it is claimed that the air here is the cleanest and freshest on the planet. Combine this with the idyllic scenery and cultural activity in the capital, and it is easy to see why Iceland will make such a wonderful home. The U.S. Navy Housing Welcome Center manages all aspects of housing for resident personnel with accompanying family members stationed at Keflavik. A difficult task made easier by the fact that all accommodation is on base in government quarters. There is no economy housing available for military personnel on Iceland. This means that our staff are free to concentrate their efforts on our own housing inventory, ensuring that standards of accommodation and overall facilities are constantly improving. Our ongoing Neighborhoods of Excellence initiative will take all of our housing into the next century and beyond. We've already added a number of easily accessible children's playgrounds throughout the family housing areas. And for periods of inclement weather, we are creating day rooms in all apartment stairwells so that children and parents have a place to play and meet right outside their own front doors. All housing units have a well-equipped kitchen with a fitted stove and refrigerator. Laundry facilities are provided in all units, either privately or in communal areas in each stairwell. Storage space in all units is restrictive. No garages are available at Keflavik, but a small bulk storage area is provided either in an outside shed or indoor cage. This lack of storage space should be borne in mind when you're considering which personal items you wish to bring with you. Also, large or oversized items should be placed in non-temporary storage, as living spaces do not usually accommodate these items. Cable TV and radio is provided to all units free of charge by the Navy Broadcasting Service. Electricity is rated at 110 volts, 60 cycles, just like in the United States. Double-paned windows are standard to combat the cold winds that often blow here, as is central heating via radiators. Hot water for the base comes from the most unlikely of sources.
Underground volcanic activity creates numerous hot springs, steam vents and geysers, as well as creating some unusual places to swim, even in the depths of winter. The energy from these thermal springs is used to heat large volumes of water, which are then pumped through many miles of pipework to 80% of Iceland's homes. The family housing on base is split into seven areas, each with its own distinct characteristics. Two regular bus services make getting around easy, even for those with no car. Lower commissary housing, built in 1976, consists of 120 two-bedroom apartments for enlisted families. The apartments are compact but homey, and one unit in each stairwell will soon be available for use as a day room. Laundry facilities are communally shared between three or four units. Upper commissary housing provides a variety of units for both enlisted personnel and field grade officers. There are currently 55 two-bedroom and 22 three-bedroom apartments and eight four-bedroom townhouses. Are you winning, Gordon? However, a number of the two-bedroom apartments are being converted into large 1,500 square foot four-bedroom units. The conversions create an extra large living and dining room, while a day room is also being provided in each stairwell. The four bedroom units all have two bathrooms and a private laundry room. Other units share communal laundry facilities. Flower housing is the newest addition to the housing inventory, having been built in the early 1990s. Communal day rooms are provided for all residents of these comfortable units, which vary in size and style. All flower kitchens are well fitted and have the added benefit of a dishwasher and private laundry facilities. 125 two-bedroom, 93-bedroom, and 11 four-bedroom apartments provide accommodation for both enlisted personnel as well as company and field-grade offices. Tree housing offers 70 two-bedroom and 114 four-bedroom enlisted apartments. All four-bedroom units have a master and family bathroom. Two-bedroom units are approximately 830 square foot and four-bedroom around 1,100 square foot, all set in three-story blocks. Both offer a good standard of accommodation and benefit from the recent conversion of one unit per stairwell to provide a day room and extra communal laundry facilities. Built in 1987, Bird Housing, another all-enlisted area, is well appointed with the advantage of dishwashers in all kitchens. These units have good-sized living areas. All have their own private laundry facilities. In total, there are 185 two-bedroom, 48 three-bedroom, and 15 four-bedroom units. Four bedroom units have two bathrooms and there is a day room on the ground floor of each stairwell.
Built in 1951, SP housing represents our oldest inventory. There are 31 one-bedroom and 55 two-bedroom apartments available for both enlisted personnel and company-grade offices. Some of the two-bedroom units have an additional room reached through one of the bedrooms. Known as two-plus units, they also have an extra bathroom. Laundry facilities are communal on each floor, shared between two units, which average 830 square foot for the one bedroom and nearly 1,000 square foot for the two bedroom apartments. Because of their wooden construction, SP units cannot accommodate water beds. Officer housing, built in the late 1960s, offers 26 three-bedroom and 15 four-bedroom apartments. Water beds can be accommodated, and all units have both a master and family bathroom. Accommodation is available for both field and company-grade offices. And I found some information about that dinner that you were asking about. When's it going to be? The company-grade officer quarters will be unavailable during 1996 and early 1997 as they are undergoing extensive renovation. All units have private laundry facilities. Field-grade quarters are townhouse style, while company-grade are three-story apartment style. Spread across the base in a number of buildings which are currently undergoing renovation works are BOQs and BEQs for all single and unaccompanied personnel. Renovated BEQs offering single rooms to E5s and above are well furnished with a separate living area and a private bathroom. A refrigerator is also provided. BOQs are also furnished to a high standard with a comfortable living area and have a supplied refrigerator. Rooms for O3s and above have the added benefit of a separate bedroom with a walk-in closet. All bachelor quarters, both officer and enlisted, have their own multi-gym and aerobic room on site, as well as a communal day room and a well-equipped kitchen. Galley facilities are also available. Each building has its own laundry facilities. Inbound families heading for Keflavik should be aware that dependent entry authorization has to be granted before traveling. This is due to the fact that there is very little temporary lodging accommodation on base. Iceland's strict quarantine laws make the importation of pets quite difficult. Dependent entry authorization will only be granted when family housing is available. There is a short waiting list, so service members are advised to complete their application forms as early as possible, making our staff aware of your arrival date. We will do our utmost to ensure that a unit is available for you on your rotation date, so that you can arrive at Keflavik with your family. Once a unit has been assigned and prior to your arrival, we will arrange for delivery of a full complement of loaner furniture. This is available for up to 90 days or until such time as your personal household goods arrive from your previous duty station. Although the loaner furniture will provide you with all the essentials, it will be the job of your sponsor to add the finishing touches and turn your house into a home ready for your arrival. Pull the sheet up for me. There you go. Let's get this one. Good communication with your sponsor prior to rotation is essential Thank as you. they will be your initial point of contact in Keflavik. Finish. 
The Housing Welcome Center, conveniently situated in the heart of the main housing areas, can be contacted at any time during your tour for advice or assistance. The commercial telephone number is 354-425-6123 or DSN 450-6123. Housing applications may be faxed to 354-425-2006. Hi, can I help you? I have an appointment with Linda Woodry. Okay. Check out. If you want to have a seat, I'll let her know that you're here. All of our staff are highly trained specialists who will deal with your problems and inquiries promptly and efficiently. Unless your personal circumstances change during your time here, it is quite possible that your only contact with us will be to arrange your departure. Reason for vacating your PCSing and you're leaving on the 21st of October. Housing maintenance assistance is just a phone call away. Housing Trouble Desk? Uh, yes, uh, I'm having a problem with my apartment. The Housing Trouble Desk, which is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, can deal with anything from a leaking faucet to a full-blown emergency. All you need to do is to provide your personal details and the nature of the problem. Okay, I'll put this in today and I'll contact you within three working days. Thank All right, you. sounds great. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Your requirements will then be passed to our maintenance contractors, who also man the trouble desk outside office hours. They will arrange for a technician to call at your property to inspect and repair any damage. Good morning. Good morning. All of our Icelandic contractors speak perfect English. Yes. If the thought of watching somebody else tackle do-it-yourself problems doesn't appeal, then you're more than welcome to carry out repairs for yourself. The on-site self-help store stocks all the necessary nuts and bolts, screws and washers to enable you to do things properly. You can also get some practical and helpful advice from our staff. We'll even amuse the kids while you're here. A safe and efficient bus service ferries children of school age to the A.T. Mahan Elementary School and its big sister, the A.T. Mahan High School, which are both on the base. Unhappy. Is that a good one? If you think it's good, put your thumbs up. If you think it's bad, put your thumbs down. Your children will be able to study all the usual subjects and take part in a number of other activities. How many syllables? Teaching standards are as good, if not better, than those in the States. Let's count them out. Ready? Window. You'll Good. also find all the usual support facilities on base, including a top-class hospital, family service and child care centers, and the modern but beautiful Chapel of Light. The base's extensive leisure facilities are centered around a large complex which houses a swimming pool, saunas and steam rooms, two gyms and a large weight room. Lock it up, lock it up, I'm not touching it. Let's go, lock it up. If you want to try something a little more relaxed, then head to the bowling alley, which can be found at the mini mall alongside a number of shops and a welcome taste of home. Further shopping facilities include a well-stocked commissary and a good-sized Navy exchange. Here, spread over two floors, you will find a good selection of clothes and household goods at affordable prices. There is also a new American-style mall in Reykjavik, which is worth visiting, if only to browse, for shopping in Iceland can be expensive. Living here, however, is always interesting. Whatever the weather has to offer, the U.S. Navy Housing Welcome Center is here to ensure that you have a warm and comfortable home from which you can enjoy and explore the natural beauty of this totally unique island. <laughs>